So today, we're gonna be taking on the Rocketeer Draft Challenge. How well can we do in this challenge? We'll see. My name is Toon Mike, and how many Rocketeers are we gonna get? Before we get started to today's video, we have a lot, and I mean a lot of rewards to, to open. Sorry, I, can't, I, couldn't, I don't know what happened there, I couldn't speak. But look at this, guys. We got top 400 in the world, number 388 in the world by finishing in 4,009 trophies. I am super stoked that I reached four, uh, in the top 400. I haven't done that in a while, and it feels pretty good. Now, we're definitely going to open this Grand Champions reward. I'm hoping that I can get the cards I want. 20,000 gold. Yes, please. Um, they definitely taking the Frost Fox. That's for sure. Can we get some Nagas? No? Okay. Let me also get some Skeletons. No Nagas, sadly. We're going to take the Puppet Master. Uh, taking the Sorceress. Sor the Sorceress is going to be somewhat close to level um, 22. Can you imagine? My goal for today's video is to try to get level um, level 22 in one of these cards today because, because guys, oops, sorry. Um, let me get the, um, the robots. Oh, Shaman, yes, please. Because we have an ultimate orb that we have to open, guys. We do indeed have an ultimate orb to open, which is right there down in the below right there. Let me also open this. I'm just hoping to get level 22 in one of these cards. Could be the Naga, Frost Fox, Paladin, or the Shaman. The Shaman would be awesome. Okay, so the Frost Fox is getting some luck here, but the Naga is actually closer, believe it or not, to getting to level 22. And for some reason, the Naga, I mean, the Frost Fox is getting some love here when it comes to that. Um, all right, so that's gonna be it. Oh, I will claim this too. Let's claim this reward. Got sixth place. Okay, not bad. Uh, can we get some Nagas or Frost Fox? Oh, Paladins? Shamans? What? Okay, no, we are not getting lucky here. Um, okay, so let's open this now. Come on, can we get some love here? Okay, the Frost Fox is getting lucky, but not the Naga. Surprisingly, I thought we were going to be able to get the Naga to level 22 easily. It is not looking that way. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens here, man. Alright, and let's also request shamans because you know how I feel about the shaman. Always gonna go after the shaman. Uh, now we have a whole bunch of things to open here. So let's go with the blind challenge. 168 cards for 10 gems or 25 gems, which is not good. I mean, which is good. It's very, very, very good. For 25 gems, getting over 100 cards is pretty nice. It feels pretty nice. Even getting some um, some epics there. That's really, really, really good. Can we... Okay, there you go. Rocketeer Draft. I'm. Th this is the challenge I'm going to do right now or very soon. Just... Let's just hop. Well, not, not hop. Let's get the um, the rewards from here. Can we get some shamans? No shamans. Can... Oh, my gosh. Not getting lucky with the shamans either. Let's claim the classic. We, we couldn't do well. Only four wins, 15 cards. But, hey... Classic, okay, there's Sanaga, <laughs> but only eight of them. Um, and now let's open the Majestic Challenge, which we actually got eight wins, which is super good, over 500 cards. So let's see if we can get some Nagas or Frost Fox here. No, we did not. No. Wow. So not, not, not lucky there. All right, so we just opened everything, but we have to open this ultimate orb. So... Can we get to level 22 cards with one of... Just fingers crossed we can get the Frost Fox or the Naga to level 22. Just please. Striker! Oh, gosh. Okay, Striker. Okay, so the Seder is probably going to be able to get to level 22. Even Puppet Master. Okay, that was not the cards I wanted to upgrade. Now, the Zombie... That's really good. <gasps> Paladins too. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Oh my gosh, can we get the shamans? <sighs> we did not get the shamans. But the striker and the zombie being close to level 22 and the paladin. You know what? I'll definitely take that. That was very, very, very good. Well, without further ado, let's just hop into the Rocketeer Draft Challenge. Hopefully we can do well. 
100 gems, of course, because I already did this challenge just to open a bunch of rewards for you guys so you guys can see. We'll definitely take in the Orc. The Orc is tanky, plus deal a lot of damage. I'm um, taking the Banshee because she can enchant. We'll definitely take... Ah! I got double positive effect, uh, enchantments. I didn't I didn't, I didn't. didn't want to do that. I just, I just wanted to... um. I just wanted to be able to... um. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, man. Let's hit the Banshee towards the corner. It's that I thought, ooh, blacksmith with rocketeer just fits just fits well. But you know what? That was that was just poorly played. We were able to activate the 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 bottom corner trap, so let's see if we can get the other one. Or should we just go for the for the rocketeer, you know? Double hit the rocketeer, make the orc just hit a couple of troops here. Nope, not real well the the thankfully the Banshee hit the, the, the blaze right there for 78 damage, so at least it wasn't a total loss. Let's see what he wants to do with his blaze. Lots of damage there. Okie doke. So we will... Fortunately, I cannot hit the corner, so I'm just going to hit the Rocketeer towards the blaze. The Banshee should hit the Orc. The Rocketeer did not even touch the blaze. He's too heavy. The Rocketeer is insanely heavy. You might you gotta go for that, dude. You have to go for that damage. How the why didn't he go for that damage? That's why I'm I'm shocked that he did not go for that. So we just do this. Make something happen there. Yep. I'm surprised that he did not go for that corner. Why didn't he go for that corner? The the, the troops were clumped up in there, you know? I'm just shook that he didn't do that. I don't know. Let's see what he wants to do here. He is not using his Rocketeer's ability, you know? Like... Yeah, we'll definitely take both of these guys out. Why does that happen? That that has to be a bug. Like, you saw that I was gonna hit both of them and then it just hit the zombie. I, I don't know why that does that. I don't know. So it's, I think it's something that um the, the Smashing 14 needs to look at. Like, I don't know why that con that continuously happens with the Rocketeer. Okay, so he just did that. I mean, we just gotta hit the Orc, right? Orc while buffing up. Well, we don't need to buff up the Rocketeer. To be honest with you. I mean, we can, but not now. And there you go. We also did damage to the Rocketeer. Not bad. Alright, so the Rocketeer being last is very bad. Because he can only do 65 per hit, which is nothing. He actually hit the trap, which is actually very, very well played. Let's see if we can double hit the Rocketeer here. Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage to the Rocketeer. Very nicely done there. And yeah, he's just one hit, one hit away from death and we win, right? Yep. And my Rocketeer going next, he is one one hit away from death. So we we took this win. We will definitely take this win. First win in the books. And we actually buff out the, rock, the Rocketeer with the, with reinforcements. Okay, that was an awesome first start. Good game. Good game, sir. Yes, indeed. Let's hop into no one. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can get some good cards here. We don't have any enchantment cards yet, so I'm going to play a same thing for the Golem. We'll take the, the Blaze. is just too strong. We have to take the Blaze. And we will take... We'll take the Berserker because he is much more versatile. So. Okay. He's an interesting cards that he has. His Mice Mana goes next. He will buff up the Rocketeer. And hitting the Blaze. Interest uh, very good play. Very good play. Let's see if we can double hit the Rocketeer. And then hopefully somebody gets hit. Uh, we did hit his Rocketeer. So you know what? Not too bad. His knight goes next. He is probably going to buff out the Rocketeer again. He's going to use the Assassin. Hitting the Blaze. Very well done. Very well done. Well played. So with that being said, we're going to have to hit this Rocketeer. I honestly thought we were going to be able to hit it towards the Berserker. We missed, but thankfully the Rocketeer did get hit. That's what I'm happy about. My Blaze unfortunately died. Uh, so my Rocketeer goes next. So we can definitely hit both of these guys. Is that 260 damage? No, 195. 
and the knight got hit because of the berserker so we'll definitely take that he he is also doing 195 damage hopefully the assassin doesn't take out i don't know i, I don't know who is who is he gonna go for he is gonna hit okay he's gonna hit the golem towards the assassin very very well played i i have to give you props for that that was very well played i'm blocked sadly I could try to hit the knight to bounce off the wall here, and then hopefully we can hit the, the assassin with the spike ball. We did hit the spike ball, but we failed to hit the assassin, so that was not a good play. We could have done a lot. Uh, we could have done better. We could have definitely done better. My golem will die if he hits him. He is gonna go for the buffin. He he buff at the rocketeer. Uh, yeah, and the golem is dead. Actually, no, the golem is still alive somehow. I thought he was dead. So we can buff up the Rocketeer here, plus hit the Assassin. I don't know if we touch him once or twice, because Golem and the Rocketeer are very heavy. So I do not know if we actually touch them twice or three times, you know? Nice nice play on the Rocketeer there. He actually hit the Rocketeer. Can we... Yeah, we can hit both of these guys. Ho hopefully both of them. Yep, there you go. We actually hit both of them. The Rocketeer gets hit. By the spike ball, almost dead, man. He has 31 health. He has one hit away from death. His Rocketeer is only doing 130 damage, thankfully. Uh, we can definitely now take out his Rocketeer by hitting the Knight towards the spike ball. There you go. And, okay. Yep, there you go. His Mice Man is low health. His Knight is low health. We should definitely take this in the bag unless he makes an incredible play with his Mice Bandit. Because the Mice Bandit can definitely bring this back. Nice double hit on the Berserker. See what I mean? Let's see. How much health does he have? Oh, did not mean to touch the camera. 120. Mm. I mean, I'm going to have to go for the Mice Bandit because I don't want to hit the, the Knight with a Spike Ball. So, And we might be able to hit the Mice Bandit towards the Spike Ball. Nah. So now the Mice Bandit is one hit away from death, right? 55, yeah, the Berserker can take both. Oh, definitely now he can take them out. And we might be able to win this one right now. If I do this correctly and hit the Knight, there you go. GG. Okay. That was getting a little bit close to the end there, but thankfully I was able to make that play by make by hitting the Mice Bandit. Go down towards the bottom floor and then hit the Knight. So six Rocketeers right there. Definitely taking those. Sweet, sweet. So, we'll take the warrior whenever his troops get slow health. Definitely taking the zombie to enchant his troops. And, ooh, we'll take enchantress to enchant my troops. So now we have a positive and a negative enchantment. So this should be interesting. He has the shaman naga combo, bruh. Shaman naga combo, bruh. And his shaman goes first, bruh. Like, seriously? So let's enchant the zombie and the rocketeer. We're not going to be able to enchant the warrior, but I missed, I missed the rocketeer. What? At least a zombie is enchanted. The zombie is doing 65, uh, 67 damage plus poison. So we'll definitely take that. Uh, we will enchant both the shaman and the naga. We might be able to hit the rocketeer too. You never know. We'll see. Yeah, we actually hit the Rocketeer, so now three of them are enchanted with poison, which is great, because they will slowly die little by little. Okay. The warrior goes next. But I guess we can just... No. No, we'll get the attack buff here. The, the Enchantress may, may, be able, may be able to hit the Rocketeer, hopefully. I don't know if that was enough to hit the Rocketeer. I don't think, I don't think she touched her. The warrior's gonna die. Very well played. Uh, yeah, very well played. And I think the Rocketeer did not even get touched once. Yep, he did not get touched once. So I'm gonna try to make the zombie go towards the assassin so he can poison. There you go. So now everybody's poisoned. Super great. That is super, super, super great. He's gonna hit the Rocketeer. Okay. Uh, let's, let's hit the Rocketeer. Hopefully the Enchantress will go up and hit somebody. Just because she is lightweight. Yep, there you go. Hitting the Assassin twice. Very nicely done. 
we can actually pull off a monster kill here if his troops uh, sticks together. Um, do we want to wait for that though? Because his Naga goes next and I don't want to wait for that. We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. His troops are still alive. What? So we may lose the assassin. Hopefully we don't lose a Rocketeer. What? How did he pull off like a triple hit there, bruh? What? I am shook. I am shook. That that happened, man. Okay, let's see here. So the Shaman and the Rocketeer needs a little bit of attention when it comes to the damage. So we just do this. We missed the Shaman. Bruh, I'm shook that that still happened. Wow. Okay. Um, we just need to go after the, the Shaman. Hopefully he doesn't hit the zombie. Ah, Hits the zombie. Bruh. How did he hit the Rocketeer like that? Like three times that Assassin hit the Rocketeer. How did that happen? Like, how can one do that, you know? Like, how? You know what I mean? I'll take the Barbarian because she's much more versatile. Warlord because he is just good. <laughs> and we'll take the Blacksmith to enchant our Rocketeer. We'll, we'll, we'll go to enchant our troops and to enchant his troops. His giant goes next. My warlord goes first. All right. Both the rocketeer goes last. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Hit my rocketeer got buffed, but that honestly does not matter. Let's buff up the rocketeer by hitting it towards the barbarian. Barbarian got reinforcement, so that was very good. Let's see if we can reinforce the other the other two troops. Yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, we should definitely be able to. We can... Or... Or we could just buff up the Barbarian by doing this. So now the Barbarian is doing 83 damage now. Instead of 64, which you know what? I'll definitely take. And if we can buff up the Rocketeer again, we'll definitely do it while, de while dealing damage. Nicely played right there. And we can definitely buff up the Rocketeer here. While, de while buffing up the Barbarian as well. There you go. So. Um, hopefully. The troops can get out of the way. So that way I can get a direct hit from. To hit anybody. Unless he puts. Yeah he put the. Yeah he put the wizard and the treant together. So we'll definitely just do this. Hopefully the Barbarian will hit the giant. I don't know why he's mad. He put himself there. You just put yourself there. I don't know why you're mad at me. You put you put yourself there. I knew that was going to happen. So he's going to hit the Rocketeer and the Blacksmith. Even the Barbarian. But nicely done there. He took out the Blacksmith. What? So the Warlord gets the buff. So we have to go for the damage here. We'll go for the damage. Take both of these guys out. While the Barbarian is buffed, now the Barbarian is doing 83 damage. This is GG. Ooh, very close to taking out my Barbarian, but he is going for the Rocketeer. That would be strange. Yeah, that... Oh, never mind. He actually hit the Barbarian. The Barbarian is still alive. What? And she got buffed. I don't think we're going to be able to double hit because the bar the... The Rocketeer is very heavy. But um, we'll see if we can pull it off regardless. Yeah, we can't. Like, the, the, the Rocketeer is just too heavy to pull it off. He's gonna hit both of them, of course. Makes sense. So, let's see if we can... No, 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 we can't. Uh... I don't know why this guy's mad! <laughs> I don't know why this guy's mad. Um, 130. Yeah, thankfully we got the 130 and let's see if we can burn him just in time or just enough to take him out with the burn. GG. GG. I'm so mad. I'm so mad about the third match, dude. The third match, we should have won that one, but that assassin taking out the Rocketeer with three hits. 
Somehow getting that third hit was just absurd. We got the Shaman Naga combo. Let's go. Let's go. And we'll take the Banshee because we cannot use the Kong's ability. Because we're not healing, of course. So, Fokito. Shaman goes... I mean, the Mai Naga goes first. We could go for... Now, let's enchant. Let's enchant the Mice Bandit. Double hit, not bad. Now we can... Uh, we could buff up the Rocketeer because since the, ro ro the Rocketeer does go after the Banshee. Let's see what he... What, let's see what he's gonna do here, though. Yeah, not too much. Not too much. Let's see if we can... The Shaman should hit the Rocketeer plus... Hitting the Orc. So the Orc is now enchanted. The Rocketeer should be doing 130 damage at least. So hopefully he six um he keeps his troops together. He is also gonna hit the Rocketeer. You, you he did keep his troops together. Look at this. We have to do this now. The mice bandit is dead. Plus we dealt 195 damage to three troops. That was actually pretty big. Now let's see if we can enchant the Rocketeer and the Sh Enchantress, so that way the Naga can have a chance to, you know, to just cause some problems here. And we should be able to do it, as long as I don't miss. There you go, we actually did it. Cool beans. He's probably going to enchant the Orc. Yep, he's going to enchant the Orc while dealing damage to my Shaman. Interesting play. He should have okay. Nicely, nicely done there. That was nicely done. I thought, I thought the enchantress was not gonna be able to hit the rocketeer, and he did. So we just do this. His orc is dead. Okay, so his orc is dead. He did touch the rocketeer, so the rocketeer does get an attack buff. He would like to hit the the troops there down there together, because he is doing 130 damage or 195. And he missed the Naga. Wow. He thankfully missed the Naga. Let's see if we can hit the Enchanter Source and Naga. There you go. Wow. We. So now the Rocketeer is only doing 65 damage per hit. He can, de he can deal to all three of the troops there. So not too bad. But other than that. Oh, and body damage. Very nicely done there. But yeah, this is GG, my man. Oh, especially since I'm doing enough damage to take you out right now. 195 damage. Yes, it's sad. Sad assassin face. I'm just going to give him the happy knight. Or the lovely knight. GG, my man. Taking more rocketeers, thankfully. Let's hop into another one, shall we? We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, if I do say so myself. Taking the giant. I don't, I don't like the phoenix. Uh, we'll definitely take the Thunder Idol. So now we have like a splashy deck somewhat. Definitely taking the Wraith. The Wraith buffing up the Rocketeer is just, is deadly. My Wraith goes first too. So if he doesn't move the Rocketeer, we can definitely buff him up. So hopefully my troops st uh, stays together here. Come on, go ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah, he didn't do much other than buffing up his Rocketeer. So we're definitely going to do this to compete to compete with his Rocketeer. So I did four touches. I think he did three or four. So very nicely done there. He is touching the Rocketeer again. That was either like five or six, uh, six touches, man. Let's see if we can make it hit the Rocketeer twice and then make the Giant go up. There you go. We did activate the um, the, the werewolf's ability, but you know what? That's okay. Wow, that's a lot of damage. He may even take out the Rocketeer here if he touches the fire. What? Oh my god, dude. No way. That was just absurd. We're gonna have to do this. Dude, I cannot believe that happened. He, he, he just won. He just won by doing that. I, he just did that, dude. He just won. There's no way we're going to win this, dude. There's just no way. We'll hit both of these guys. Plus the Drakeling, maybe. 
All right. Um, we missed the Drakeling, but dude, there's no way we're gonna win this one. Nicely done there. Let's see if we can take out this Rocketeer and hit the the Werewolf too. Okay, so we did kill off the Werewolf. The Rocketeer is still alive. All right. We we can we actually still have a chance here. We just need to take out this Rocketeer. Wants to poison the Thunder Rider and the Wraith. I don't blame you. You got it. How much health does he have? Yeah, we can take him out one hit. Uh, let's see if we can hit the Drakeling too. There you go. Wow. Wow. What a turn up of events, ladies and gentlemen. We just changed the table on this guy. We turned the tables here. Not changed tables. We turned the tables. Sorry. Um, wow. We actually have a chance now. Nice fireball. We can actually take out the Drakeling right here and deal damage to the zombie. Wow. We brought that back. Now, don't get me wrong. This person can still win because my troops are poisoned. The Thunder Idol. If he doesn't touch the Thunder Idol, he'll survive with one turn uh, with one health. Sorry, but he may hit the Thunder Idol here. No, he didn't. Wow. We can actually try to hit it towards the Thunder Idol for damage here. Yeah, plus a fire, dude. Dude, we brought this back. Sixty-three damage. Yeah, um, it is, oh, don't you, okay, um, yeah, we won this one, we just won this one, I cannot believe, I honestly thought we were gonna lose that because of that, his play that he just took out the Rocketeer in that one turn, but we actually brought that back, surprisingly, I didn't think we were gonna be able to bring that back, GG, wow, very nicely played there by me and him. He did. He played that super well, trying to um, buff up the Rocketeer like that. Taking the Sorceress, definitely. Uh, we'll take, we'll take the Knight. We'll get some defense up, and we'll take the Berserk. The Berserk. The Berserker is just much more versatile, so we'll take the Berserker here. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. We'll try to double hit the Rocketeer like this. Yep, that was either two or three touches, plus the Frost Fox got hit because of the Rocketeer, so not a terrible play. He will touch the Rocketeer towards the Yeti. No, that was like two or three touches. Very nicely done there. Can we enchant everybody there, though? That would be ideal. I think we just did. It's the, Rock the Frost Fox. Wow, we just enchanted everybody there. That was clutch. Oh, ouchie, dude. Ouchie, relax, dude. So I guess we're, we're just gonna have to go for the damage here, man. Since we since we didn't have a direct head towards the Rocketeer, they wanna bounce off the wall. Who should we go for? That is the question. Everybody's enchanted. Yep, well, now we know who to go for. We might be able to have three of these troops, actually, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to hit three of these troops. Um, so we'll just, we'll just go for the Frost Fox. Frost Fox Rocketeer. Since the Frost Fox can actually heal himself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he says, he says thanks. I mean, okay, sure. I mean, I couldn't do anything else. He will take out the Berserker, sure. I mean, I couldn't do anything else. I don't know why he's saying things. I couldn't do anything else. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to hit the Rocketeer. That would be ideal, but... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it, so I'm just going to go for the damage here. Rocketeer is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. How? His Rocketeer is still alive. He will take out my Rocketeer, which... Very strange. There, No, there you go. He's going, after, he's going for the heals. Plus the damage, so not bad. I would like to hit... Yeah, let's see if we can hit, make the Paladin hit the Knight. We did not! Okay. So we did 97 damage to all of them, which is not bad. He will either go for the damage or for the heal. What does he want to do here? Nicely done. Very well played there. Very well played. Yeah, there's not, there's no way I can win this one now. That was very well played right there. Yep, there you go. 
I mean, the Rocketeer, like, what, what else was I supposed to do? I couldn't hit three of them. Oh. Yep, okay, there you go, GG. Alright, we, we got five wins still, right? Five and two, right? So you know what? We're not we're not doing terrible. We're not doing terrible. We're doing all right for a draft challenge, you know. I can only win so many draft challenges. I think I only won like twice or three times, something like that. Definitely taking the enchantment right here. Um, yep, double enchantments for myself and the enemy, and the, taking the cultist. All right. So um, this should be pretty good. Buffing up the rocketeer with reinforcements, or buffing up everybody with reinforcements, and poisoning everybody. We should be okay. Hopefully, especially starting off with the blacksmith. Definitely buffing up the zombie and the rocketeer. Poise. Wow, we actually buff up everybody. Poisoning the blaze as well. So now if we can poison the rest of the troop, we, sh we will be in a good position. Especially since this person does not have any enchantment troops. Very nicely played. That, that was very nicely played. Let's poison his rocketeer. Touch our rocketeer. Ooh, the Rocketeer got touched multiple times there. That was like four touches? Four, two or three, two or three, three or four touches, something like that. So the Rocketeer would be doing an immense amount of damage and his troops are together there. We cannot hit the Thunder Rattle, so I'm just going to hit both of these guys. They're both dead. So, awesome start there. How much damage is his, his Rocketeer is doing though? That is the question. Only 65, he did not buff up the Rocketeer. Wow. Uh, let's... We go out to the Thunder Rattle or the Rocketeer. We just do this, I guess. Nah, that, I, that, that was a bad play. That was a very bad play. I should have went for the Thunder Rattle. He's, he's gonna buff up the Rocketeer, I'm sure. While hitting the zombie. Yep. I mean, I can't, I can't complain. Um, so let's buff up the Rocketeer. Hopefully twice. Yep, that was two hits. I know that was two hits. And uh, the Zombie and the Rocketeer are together, so he will hit those, obviously. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we can definitely, um... We can definitely now poison the Thunder Rider, plus buff up the Rocketeer again. Oh, get another touch, please? Nope. So hopefully his troop sticks together. So that way we can use the Rocketeer on them. Are they together? No, they're not. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's definitely go after the Thunder Idol. And um, his Thunder Idol will die next turn no matter what happens. So, let's focus on the Rocketeer. Um, I could do some shenanigans with the cultist, but I don't think that's gonna work out too well in my favor, but we could try. Might make him do this, make the cultist go up, hopefully hits the rocketeer. Wow, we actually hit the rocketeer. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. Alright, so yeah, this is GG now, especially hit him being poisoned while we have reinforcements. This is GG. This guy knows it. Come on, mate. I'm just looking after my doggy. Sorry, I'm just looking away constantly. I'm just looking after my doggo. Um, but yeah, that's GG. Instead of... Dude, you could have just... Surrendered, you know? Instead of just leaving the game. Uh, yeah, the... Ah! Uh, the cultist was not enough to finish the game there, so now I have to wait another, a couple of seconds here. Just surrender the game, dude. Surrender the game before you surrender. Don't just... Quit the game, you know? Same goes to everybody, man. Just don't quit the game. Just, just surrender. There's no shame. I surrender. It's normal, <laughs> you know. All right. So six wins. There you go. Fifteen rocketeers. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hop into another one. Um, berserker, versatile. We'll take the orc because it's tanky plus deal more damage. Warlord is just too good, man. The Warlord is just very, very good. Uh, war my Warlord goes first. He buff up the Sorceress and it's a Sorceress turn. See see what I mean? Like this, like my opponents get super lucky, man. 
He will hit the Rocketeer, plus dealing damage to my Rocketeer. Golly, alright, alright. So we'll definitely buff up the Rocketeer. No, actually, we'll hit the Orc and then hit the Rocketeer. There you go, so that way we have the trap ready. His Rocketeer got buffed. Honestly, that doesn't matter. He's gonna hit both my... Okay, you know what? Not too bad. We can... Okay, yeah, we can definitely cause some shenanigans here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah! Yeah, that Orc was something, man. That Orc was definitely something. Um, he can... He's probably gonna deal a lot of damage to my Orc. No? He's gonna hit my Orc and the, um... Nope. Oh, he was going for after that. Understood. Understood. Um, how my okay? Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight. Uh, let's actually hit the skill. Uh, we should nah. We'll just do this. There you go. Activate the trap. Miss the skeleton. All right. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter because we don't want the skeleton to to die soon or now. You know. We want the skeleton to survive just a little bit longer. Hopefully that Rocketeer does not hit anybody else. So that way I I can able I, I'm able to use this ability. Yep, there you go. We should definitely take out the warlord and the sorceress. There you go, just make sure. Bada bing bada boom. This warlord is still alive, you know what? That's fine. All of his troops are low health, but we got the the warlord still, still the max health. The berserker is healthy. The orc is healthy and not enchanted, so we just lost a rocketeer, right? Yeah, we just lost a rocketeer. You know what? That's fine. That is totally fine. We can just go after his rocketeer. So that way, or we could just go after the warlord. But then his skeleton is gonna die. You know what? That's something that we don't want to do. There you go. Yeah, we just we did damage to the to the skeleton plus took out his rocketeer. So you know what? That's fine. I just don't want the skeleton to die now because then he's gonna get revived with more health, and that's something that we don't want. So double hitting the warlord, very nicely done. He actually hit the trap there. Very nicely done. Uh we will just do this. The orc should hit the warlord. We did not. Okay. I mean the skeleton is dead. And the orc and the um the warlord just needs one hit. One hit to die. Does not matter. He could have went for the trap plus dealing damage, but he didn't, so we win. Ladies and gentlemen, we won. That's seven games. I'm I'm surprised. I'm very, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So there you go, we win. Another one. Another one. Another one. There you go. Another one. We got seven wins, not too shabby. One more, we get what twenty? We get 20, 20 rocketeers, which is insane. For hundred gems, is pretty good. Uh, we're not finding an opponent here, sadly. Let's try one more time. Oh, there you go. Now we just found an opponent immediately. Um, my spend it for damage. Paladin to heal up, plus buffing up the rocketeer. Oof. We'll go for the Vampire. The Vampire is just too good, man. Plus, the Rocketeer actually blocks the shot with those... I mean, uh, the Frog Mystics actually blocks the shot with those Cricket thingies, you know? And we don't want that. Okay, thankfully we hit somebody with the with the Mice Bandit. Alright, so that was 81 damage to the Sentinel. Not, not Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Strangely, it's very strange to have Sentinel and Rocketeer in the same deck. They don't fit. They honestly do not fit in the deck, but honestly, that's just my opinion. It, they don't fit in the deck. Let's hit the Rocketeer again, plus heal up the Vampire just a smidge by hitting the the Goblin. There you go. Ooh! Hit the Sentinel too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, we can definitely deal damage to the Rocketeer and the Sorceress because they're together. So, definitely do this. Yeah, look at that. That's 195, right? Or 260. 195. Yeah, very good, man. That was very, very, very good. Now we can try to go for the heals here. It seems like he will kill off the vampire. Hopefully not. But he may go for the kill. Yeah, oh yeah, he's dead. Vampire's dead. So we could go for the heal here. 
Um, let's actually try to heal up the Mice Bandit and hopefully we can take out his Sorceress. Yeah, that should be death. Yep, that is death. Wow. Okay, so we took out the Sorceress, so that way the Paladin and the Rocketeer are not enchanted, which is great. Super great. He... let's see... Wow, he just took out the Mice Bandit. Nicely done, dude. My Rocketeer goes next. I don't think we have um, a buff here. Yeah, only 65. We might be able to hit the, um, the, the Sentinel with the Snowball. Wow, we did. Oh, sorry about the notification. Let me get rid of that. Uh, we could def we gotta go for the heal here. We have to heal up the Rocketeer so that way he does more damage. So hopefully we can get a double hit here. Hopefully we can. There you go. We actually got the double hit. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Those troops are gonna be stick uh, together unless he actually goes for them, hits them. He will actually hit them. You know what? That's a very smart play. He is separating the troops. He is separating the troops. Or else I was going to be able to just go immense immense damage there. Uh, let's see if we can make the snowball hit the sentinel. Wow. And look at that. We also made the paladin hit the sentinel. So that was very good. So now the rocketeer and the sentinel cannot use their abilities. Because they need troops to touch them to be able to use the, their abilities. So you know what? Definitely, definitely taking this one. He may actually take out the Paladin here. Hopefully not. Please, Paladin, stay alive. He missed! Wow! Let's definitely buff up the Rocketeer here. That was like 130, but hey, we'll take it, man. We will take it. We'll take 130 over 65. So, let's see. Honestly, the most dangerous troop is actually the Sentinel. Because the Sentinel can deal 168 damage while the Rocketeer can only do 65. So let's see if we can make the Snowball actually end the Sentinel here. Nah, we failed to make the Sentinel touch the Snowball. So see, this is what I mean. He can actually now hit me four times with a beam, dealing 168 damage, meaning that the Sentinel is very dangerous. But we can now hit both of them. There you go. The snowball was was not in range to take out the rocketeer or deal damage to the rocketeer. Regardless, he only has 123 health. I have 215. He only needs two hits to die while he needs to hit me four times. He missed the rocket, dude. Ouchie. And he actually blocked himself from being able to have a direct hit there. I have to rely on my own, you know, skills to be able to do this. I hit the snowball. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing horrible. I should have just went after the snowball. That was a very horrible play. Go ahead. Yeah, that was a very, very bad play. Don't tell me he surrendered, dude. He's laughing. He says good game. He's just gonna hit the Rocketeer. Yep, he just hit the Rocketeer. Nobody else. Hopefully there's a snowball next to him. No, he's actually right there blocking the shot again. What? Okay, no, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit the snowball. I'm, I have to do that because the snowballs are blocking my shot, so that way now he is No, he is two hits away from death. Not one. I honestly thought it was gonna be one hit. Wow, he can actually still win this one. Actually, we should be able to make him hit the snowball and we'll win. Should. We'll see. Yes, the snowball! Yes! Oh my gosh, barely, but we got it. Wow. If he would have survived that, we could have probably lost, man. We would have lost. Oh, wait, no, that's 15 more uh, Rocketeers. You know what? We'll definitely take that. Let's hop into another one. We are getting close to the end game here. We are doing very, very, very well. So, taking the farmer. The farmer is just too good, in my opinion, man. Um, we're taking the archer for her damage. And we will. We have to take the striker because we're not using any enchantment troops to use the armadillo. Okie dokie. My rocketeer goes first, which is obviously not great. Um, we don't want to push any of the troops upward, so let's see if we can hit... Um, 
Let's see if we can hit the Rocketeer towards the fire. Nope. Not really. All right. He might just hit the Barbarian towards the farmer or the archer. Yeah, he did. Just buffing up, just buffing up the Barbarian. You know what? That's a very nice play. Uh, let's see if we can just hit the Rocketeer twice and make the farmer hit the Barbarian. Yep. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. The Goblin goes next. Barry is literally hugging the, the the fire pillar, so a little bit uncomfortable for him, but he can always just bounce off the wall. And of course, that's the Goblin's ability, buff bouncing off the walls. Holy guacamole, my archer died. Golly, dude. Um, Yeah, we should be able to hit the Goblin towards the Rocketeer. No, we did not. We didn't. However, the Goblin did take a lot of damage. This farmer goes next. He is going to hit both the Rocketeer and the Farmer. Maybe even the Striker if he does this right. Well, the farm, the barbarian hit the farm, uh, the striker. Sorry, so very nicely done. Let's see if we can. Ugh, I would like to hit the barbarian towards the fire, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. We might, we should be able to hit the farmer towards the fire though. Yep, there you go. Goblin is still taking the pumpkin damage. The goblin should die in the next turn with the pumpkin, unless we hit the goblin and then the farmer will hit somebody else with the pumpkin. If the farmer survived this. He did. Oh my gosh, he did not. Yeah, we just lost this. Good game, man. There's no way we're gonna win this one now. Let's see if we can hit the farmer. We did not. Oh, actually, we did. Rocketeer goes next. He can actually just win here, right? The far the striker will die. 130 damage to wall. Very nice. Um, we can take out three of them, right? Yeah, we can take three of them out, but um, his Rocketeer is almost full health while mine is almost dead. So I think this is GG. The only way I can win this is by hitting the Rocketeer towards the Fire Pillar multiple times. But he's going to do the same thing to mine, right? Yep, he just did. GG, man. Wow. Hey, I can't complain. We got eight wins. Like We got eight wins. That's very, very good. Plus, we're going to get more epic cards from it. So let's see what we're going to get. Shamans, let's go. We're going after the shamans. Hope getting close to level 22. Uh, multiple troops. They are very getting close to um level 22. Oh, let me also claim this reward. Okay, look at that. We got an epic orb, so hopefully this will help us get some troops to level 22. Golem now. Archers. Well, okay. Jedi now. That did not help out at all. The sorceress is getting there. Paladins now. Shamans, please. Oh, look at that. We got more shamans. Let's go. Just 500 away. All right. I mean, it's, it's definitely it's definitely going to take a while, but we will get there very soon, hopefully. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Also, guys, um, join the clan if you can. Smashing Tunes, we got seven, uh, 27 people. And even with lack of players, we actually were able to finish the donation quest, which... We need people to, to donate and request and whatnot. And we actually was able to pull it out, uh, pull it off, sorry. Even with a full day left. Like, I, I was actually surprised that we actually pull it off and we did. So please consider joining the clan. I will be happy to see you guys there. Also, if you have any challenge sex recommendations, let me know down in the comments uh, below and I'll do it. And if you have any ladder deck recommendations, just let me know down in the comments as well, and I will certainly do it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks again for your continued support, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.